and we are in downtown Petaluma today, and I just bought a truck, a vintage truck. And the reason is because we have a vintage vehicle extravaganza coming to this town again. So the new word, or I should say the new term that we are going to learn is American Graffiti. You want to know more? Come with me. Petaluma's salute to the George Lucas American Graffiti movie is an annual celebration of classic American cars cruising the main drag and rock and roll music of the 50s and early 60s. Net proceeds from each annual salute are invested in schools and community projects as well as other programs that benefit arts, education, safety, and welfare. This event is brought to us by Cruising the Boulevard, Inc., an all-volunteer nonprofit founded in 2005 by a group of classic car and American graffiti enthusiasts. Susan Villa was there from the very beginning. We caught up with Susan and her family working away out in front of their barn a week before the event where they were in the process of assembling a replica of the rock and roll radio station that appears in the American Graffiti movie. With deadlines upon them, the hammer and drill noises were filling the air and production continued while Susan stopped just long enough to tell us a little bit about what to expect. Day one, we actually start Thursday night, which is a scholarship dinner that's held in town, Petaluma. And then on Friday night, we have a free cruise-in, which happens at Plaza North. And then the big day event is, sorry, that's the window going up in the radio station there. The big day event starts for us about 5.30 in the morning when we bring all the props into town. There's registration over at Plaza North and they let about 25 cars at a time into town, park them, and the public starts mingling around about seven o'clock. Our radio station goes on the air at seven with uh, David Glass, which is our first morning DJ. And the rest is just fast forward after that. How many cars do you expect this year? Um, on the Saturday, we have approximately 370 registered cars. Wait just a minute, kids. You know there are always two sides to every story. And while this annual tribute to American Graffiti event seems to be all about fun, 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 the other side of the story is very serious, kids. Serious because Susan Villa and the other Cruisin' the Boulevard team will tell you the money raised from this event goes to giving back to our town. So listen to this seriousness. What we give back to the city is amazing, especially in this economic times. And one of our biggest things that we give back are AEDs. And AEDs are the heart defibrillators. The first year, we were able to raise enough money to put a AED in each one of the police cars. The second year, we were able to put them in all the high schools in town. There are additional police cars now we have outfitted, and with that, we supply the training for the police officers and the coaches or the teachers where the schools are at. We have also provided a gurney for the paramedics in the downtown area. Kids, tell your adults that Cruising the Boulevard, Inc. has four community projects that proceeds from the annual salute celebrations are helping to fund Petaluma Save a Life, Henry Travers Memorial Scholarship Fund, Hands of American Graffiti, and Petaluma Film Site Tour. Your adults can help by becoming a salute sponsor or by making a personal gift as a friend of Cruising the Boulevard. Tell them to click on americangraffiti.net Meanwhile, round up your adults, jump into the cool vehicle of your choice, and let's all cruise the boulevard. 